Hey everybody, welcome to my video about handy Apple Watch tips every Apple Watch owner should know. In this video, I'm going to go over a number of helpful little tips I've come across that I've found most people that have Apple Watches don't seem to ever know about. Let's get to it. The first tip is one I just learned recently myself. You can actually access Control Center or the Notification Shade from any app or screen on your Apple Watch, not just the main watch face. To access Control Center from any screen on your Apple Watch, even when you're in another app, just tap and hold, kind of like a long tap, at the bottom of the screen until the top of the Control Center appears. Then drag it up, and it's pretty much the same for the Notification Shade. Just long tap the top of the screen until it appears and then pull it down. I wish I would have known this tip a long time ago. The next tip has to do with the app layout. By default, the Apple Watch shows you the apps on your watch in a honeycomb arrangement they refer to as a grid. Admittedly, it does look kind of cool, but I find it a real hassle to find my apps. You can change this to a list view that presents your apps in alphabetical order, which I find a lot easier. To make this change, bring up your apps by pressing the digital crown and then hard press on the grid and tap list view. Now you can scroll through your apps with your finger or digital crown. I find this so much easier. Another great tip that a lot of people don't seem to know about is that you can use your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. I use this all the time with all of my Macs. A few things to qualify for this feature, both your Apple Watch and Mac have to be using the same Apple ID. Also, your Mac has to have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. This feature will work with most Macs made 2013 or newer. To set this up, go to your Mac and open System Preferences. Then choose Security and Privacy. Then select Allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. You will likely be prompted for your password. Once that's entered, your Mac will turn this feature on. Now when you open your MacBook or wake up your Mac Mini or iMac, it will unlock automatically. I love this feature. It's super handy. The next tip I learned pretty recently as well. If you lost or misplaced your Apple Watch around the house, you can use Siri to help you find your Apple Watch. You can use Siri on your iPhone or any other Apple device like a Mac that uses the same Apple ID. Just say, Siri, find my Apple Watch, and Siri will ping your Apple Watch to help you find it. If you find that you've lost your Apple Watch and it's not around the house, then you can also check out my video about how to find your Apple Watch by using the iCard above. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Another cool tip for your Apple Watch is that you can use it to check the battery level on not only your AirPods if you have them, but the same feature also works for most Beats headphones as well. You can access the battery complication if you've added it to any watch face that supports it. But if you don't have it added as a complication, you can also access the battery level through the control center by tapping the battery level. When you're using your AirPods, AirPods Pro, or Beats headphones with your Apple Watch or iPhone, just scroll down on the battery level screen and below the battery status of your Apple Watch will be displayed the battery status of your headphones. The last tip I'm going to talk about is a neat extra feature when you're trying to find your iPhone. Using your Apple Watch, you can ping your iPhone if it's misplaced around the house and it will make a homing sound. I found most people know about this part, but did you know, if you press and hold the ping your iPhone button, it will also set off the iPhone's light to help you find it in the dark too. Give it a try. Every time I use my Apple Watch to find my iPhone, now I press and hold the button as I find the flashing light helps me find it too. In case you didn't know, to use your Apple Watch to find your iPhone, just access Control Center by swiping up from the bottom, as we discussed earlier, and pressing the button that has the picture of the iPhone with the little waves around it. Press and hold it, and that'll make it flash and ping. Those were my handy Apple Watch tips that most people I've met don't seem to know. Do you have any awesome or handy Apple Watch tips you think I should have shared? Please tell us about them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.